All right, good morning. Uh, welcome to Unique Devotions, and this is woo, crazy bedhead morning. Um, <laughs> I'm going to start from the book of Luke, uh, chapter 11, entitled The Model Prayer, and uh, we're going to read uh, just one through four, and then I will pose the questioning that God uh, was putting on my heart for the day, and then I will try to use that scripture throughout the day to help get my mind back in order and uh, get refocused. Some days it's hard because I forget to go back to the scripture because I get so caught up in the, the struggle of the day, good stuff and bad stuff, but uh, at some point I still need to try to get back to it, um, even if it's just one more time at the end of the day before before I go to bed, just to think about it, um, and let God continue to rework the heart. So, let's get started. Now it came to pass, as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, that one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. So he said to them, When you pray, say this our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins for we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us and do not lead us into temptation but deliver us from the evil one you've never had a personal prayer that is a good one to start with even if you don't fully understand it completely um, that's kind of the point of prayer is to gain dialogue with the God of this universe and beyond the gain uh, communication with the Holy Spirit that he's given to us to help guide and get that clarity. Now I have a personal prayer um, that pops up every morning and some mornings I read it, some mornings I just use a devotional. Um, sometimes I neglect it because of time, which I shouldn't do, but this is what uh, God had put on my heart. When was the last time you asked Jesus to teach you to pray. He will open your entire being to your own personal prayer. For the scripture that we just read, do you truly believe these words? Slow down and really take it in. Now I say, do you truly believe these words? That's also when you start writing down your own personal prayer, the things that you uh, are asking God for, the things that you're asking God to help change, the things that you're asking God to help reason through, and even just the, the sentences with a period at the end. They don't always need to be questions, um, but just uh, gratitude dialogue in the form of gratitude um, just dialogue in the form of he's your buddy like say hello just hey how you doing today I'm doing I'm doing this way how are you doing today you know talking to him like he's open to hear anything not just questions but you have to believe those words and uh, you definitely need to slow down and really take them in. Sometimes even your own personal prayer, you, you'd get in a, a revolving door cycle that just kind of gets monotonous, and you tend to forget a little bit of the depth of why you uh, came up with that prayer, why you were shown that prayer. And uh, you need to refocus, slow down, relook at the words that you've uh, hopefully written down, 
<clears throat> and uh, continue to reflect. So, on that note, uh, just something to think about in your own personal prayer today. If you don't have one, maybe it's time to start. Um, not just something you keep in your mind, but something you actually write down on a piece of paper that you can pull out of your pocket, pull out of a drawer, constantly come back to it, even if you use it as a marker in your Bible um, for where you're at. Um, something that you can constantly put in your mind. Uh, questions won't get answered if you just bleh, and ask a question. And uh, dialogue won't happen if you're just doing it because you're supposed to do it. It needs to be real. It needs to be heartfelt. On that note, I hope you get all the blessings you deserve today and doubly much all the blessings you don't deserve. Until next time, enjoy coming up with your own personal prayer.